Some days you just feel like wearing a whole bunch of rings and today was one of those days. Hello, welcome back. Did you miss me? How was, how was your week away? Mine was good. I enjoyed having a little break where I didn't have to film my face every day, um, but I'm glad to be back. Hello. Anyway, last week I said I would do a Q&A this week, so I'm gonna do that. Here we go. I got a few questions from YouTube. I got a few questions not from YouTube because I didn't get enough questions from YouTube. Um, here we go. Let's start. Chief Brandini maybe asks several things. He says, my first question is, who do you think would win in a rap battle? You or the first Benicia rapper, Jack Nasty? I don't know how to rap, so I'm gonna say the person who like actually raps is gonna win. Uh, then he asks, secondly, is this like the season finale of the vlog day series or is this classified as a series finale? I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna say for now, let's just say it's a series finale. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to daily vlogs in the foreseeable future. But you never know. Sometimes things get get canceled, get picked up for a reboot or something. So let's, let's just call it a series finale for now. Then he asks, considering all of the boxing threats that some big name YouTubers have been doing, do you have anyone you feel would be down to clown to throw down in the ring downtown? I certainly know someone who would be down to clown. Uh, but as far as like boxing and boxing threats, yeah, I'm not super hip on what all the kids are watching these days. And I don't like to fight. Then he asks, also, do you have a favorite rapper? No, um, I'm not super into rap, sorry. <laughs> I would probably classify my favorite genre of music as strange and interesting ladies making strange and interesting sounds and this is this is a, a term that I have coined um, and it, it basically encompasses like Regina Spector and Amanda Palmer and um, and Marina and the Diamonds and Lana Del Rey and people like that that's the sort of music that I like to listen to and then my second favorite genre is um, I think it was weird emotional boys making weird emotional sounds. That was it. Yeah, and so that's like Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, um, Owl City, stuff like that. So I'm more into that side of music than rap. That was a lot more long-winded than it needed to be. But uh, yeah, just, just don't make me. And then he says, and finally, are you staying safe out there? I hope so. For our next segment, these are some questions that Belinda's students asked because I didn't get enough questions on YouTube. Melly asks, are you good at making mac and cheese? What's the best mac and cheese you've ever had? I like to think I'm okay at making mac and cheese, especially the kind that comes in a box because it's kind of hard to f*** that up. And as far as the best mac and cheese I've ever had, I don't know. Um, I had some pretty good mac and cheese from a, a pub downtown um, that's at the Relic Tavern. But yeah, they, they have some pretty good mac and cheese. Um, I'm sure there has been other mac and cheese that I have had that's really good. One time I made mac and cheese with yogurt in it and that was surprisingly delicious. I will leave a link in the info card over that way. Yes, that way. That wasn't the best mac and cheese I've ever had, but it was pretty good. Amber asks, if you could go to any band concert, regardless of whether or not they've broken up, which would it be and why? I don't know. I've never actually been to like a real concert before. The one thing that I could go to that could be considered a concert, it was technically a concert. Like they called it a concert, but it was at a library and it was wizard rock and nerd rock. It was um, the Raffle Cop tour in 2012, 2011 maybe? 
maybe 2010 even. I don't remember, but whenever the Raffle Cop tour was, um, and so that was, that was um, the Moaning Myrtles and the Whomping Willows were there, and then um, All Caps, back when they were a thing, um, and several other nerdy and wizard rock bands. Um, yeah, I went to that. I didn't make a video about it because I was too shy to get any footage there. <laughs> I, that didn't answer your question at all. <laughs> um, as far as concerts that I would actually want to go to now, um, I don't know, like any of them. Because I've never seen like an actual real concert in person. I mean, probably like something basic like Taylor Swift or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Or like any of the people that I mentioned earlier as far as some of my favorite bands like Regina Spector or Amanda Palmer or people like that. It'd be fun. Chelsea asks, if you could, uh, oh, if you could be an inanimate object, what would it be? I would be a sketchbook. I think that would be fun because then you could just like, like you start off blank and then somebody just puts like all of their ideas and thoughts and hopes and dreams into you and you become this beautiful, wonderful thing when you started from nothing and I like that. So yeah, if I could be an inanimate, an, if I could be an inanimate object, I would be a sketchbook. Spencer asks, do you have a tattoo? Not yet. I've been saying not yet for like the past 11 years. But not yet. I want one. Someday. I may never get one, but I want one. Melly asks, do you like Demi Lovato? Um, she's okay. I don't dislike her, but I don't really like go out of my way to listen to her music. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a fan of Demi Lovato, but I don't dislike her. Chelsea asks, if you change one thing about your past, what would it be and how would you change it? I would probably go back and be more outgoing. Like I'm a very shy person, but if, if I could go back and change things, I would, I would probably put myself out there more. Um, I would try and be less closed off. Um, and I, I would have made more YouTube videos in the past and I would have been more active um, in interacting with the community, um, like here on YouTube or on other social media. So yeah, if I could go back and change anything, it would be to um, be more socially active. There we go, that's a good concise way of putting it. Spencer asks, what is your favorite thing to order at Panda Express? fried rice and orange chicken. That is literally what I get every single time we go there, is a bowl with fried rice and orange chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm boring. That was it for those questions. Our final question today comes from Bethany, and she asks, when is your next art video going to be posted and what is the subject? And funny enough you asked that, I actually just posted another art video on my art channel. Go check it out, link in the info card that way, probably. I'll figure it out one of these days. Um, and that is about my experiences with social anxiety. Um, it was difficult to, um, to make mostly just because I was scared to talk about my feelings. Um, but I did it, it's there. Please go watch it. Please go subscribe over on my art channel because stuff's happening there and I'm really excited to bring more art videos in the future along with these videos. And I'm just, I'm excited to be creating things. I like making things. I went through a period when I didn't because depression got kind of bad, but I'm back in a place where I can 
where, where I feel creative and inspired and I'm making things and it feels good. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, go watch that. That's over there. And then my next one after that is, I'll give you a hint. Um, it'll be lit. <laughs> and that one I'm hoping to have next week. I need to actually, if I'm gonna follow my own self-imposed deadlines for it, I need to actually finish it today. <laughs> um, I actually thought I had until tomorrow, but then I looked at the calendar and I was like, oh, today is the 17th, not tomorrow. I need to do it today. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope that I answered your questions adequately. If anybody has any questions that they did not ask, leave them in the comments down below and perhaps I will include them in a future Q&A session. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you next week. Bye!